Hi, welcome. This is a video showing you how to set up NetBeans IDE with the, the GitHub repo. First off, you'll need to have a GitHub account, so that won't be covered in this tutorial. Uh, if you haven't logged in, log into your GitHub account and start a new project, either by clicking on the Start New Project button or going to the little plus symbol and creating a new repo. So uh, once you've done that, just give your repo a name. So in my case, it'll be a quick demo using Java. So set the repo name and initialize this repo with the readme. So check that and click on the create repository button. Okay, so there you have it. Now you just have an empty repo just uh, sitting there to be uh, used. So if you switch over to NetBeans, if you haven't already uh, loaded up. So uh, all you have to do is go to team, git, and click on clone. Once there, I've already set up all the information that's needed. Just point to the URL that was created with your repo. So it's pretty much that one over there. Uh, and your password. If you haven't logged in before, you'll have to put in your username as well. And also to where you'd want to clone this uh, repo to. Click on next, let it connect up and select the master branch. That's the only branch that will be created uh, in a new repo or when you're initializing Git on, uh, uh, on your local system as well. So click Next uh, and then just leave these at default and click on Finish. So let it do its job and now you can see it's asking you to create a project based on uh, the clone repo. So click on Project or Create Project and select of type Java application. It's just a simple one we'll be using for this demo. Uh, if you want, you can change the name of that GitHub demo just to, just to match your purposes. It's, it's not required. Click on Finish. And there you go. There, there's a new uh, project created, uh, well, a Java application project created that's li linked up to the GitHub repo that we just uh, created earlier on. So what we're going to do in this is to make a slight change. So the world famous, uh, well, just, uh, hello world, but we'll just call it hello GitHub. There you go. So save that if you want. And what we can do is after that, if you've, you've not gone through uh, Git and using Git before, uh, this wouldn't make much sense. So in that case, I'd suggest going to uh, a tutorial for, for trying out Git in an interactive web page. Uh, I'll put the, the link up in the comment section uh, below or include in the video. So if you go back, we've changed changed the files. Actually, all these are included as changes. So what we can do is to include the, just to show how it would be normally done, you'd go into the file or the project, right click, click on git, oops, click on git and then go to commit. So you go, it's uh, already had a message there because I've run through this before or you could just put in your own message and click on commit. So that's it and once you've done that just right click on the project or the file name as you would have it. Go to remote and I think you would have to pull this uh, not too sure but it will just push it to the remote uh, repo. So like I said I've done this before and it's you know configured from when you set up the repo and cloned it. Uh, so if it does ask, you know, you can set in and set all, all the details that you need. Otherwise, click next and select the master branch for your local repo and to the, the master branch. If you had other branches, you know, you could select which one you'd want to push to. So click on finish and you can see it working away and it's done. So if you go back and refresh the page, there you go. You can see that your uh, changes and your project have been, well, cloned and you actually pushed it back up to the repo. So that's about it. Thank you for watching.